Hello, my name is John Pauly, and welcome to part one of three in this podcast series about white structures in dermoscopy. When looking at skin lesions through the dermoscope, a range of colors can be seen. In pigmented lesions, we will see a range of black and brown colors if the melanin is in the epidermis, or gray to blue tones if the pigment is deeper down in the papillary dermis. Meanwhile, blood and blood vessels are characteristically red or pink in color. And finally, we can also find white color, which may be due to fibrosis and collagen in the papillary dermis, or it may be keratin located in the epidermis or on the surface. Some keratin scales are a combination of white and yellow, as seen in Boas disease, or even different types of dermatitis, for example. So we can see white color due to fibrosis in the typical central white patch of a dermatofibroma, as seen in the picture on the left, or we can see white scales on the surface of this basal cell carcinoma on the right. It is important to observe that the mere presence of white color due to fibrosis or keratin is not diagnostic by itself. It is rather the combination of a white color with other local structures that provides the diagnosis. In the dermatofibroma, the central patch is surrounded by a light brown pigment network in the periphery. In basal cell carcinoma, the white scales are actually not particularly expected, but the presence of typical branched vessels points us in the right direction. Here is a list of local structures which have been described in dermoscopy that are white. As you can see, the list is rather long. The structures described may also be confusing, especially when metaphoric language is used. Sometimes the terminology we use when describing white structures will actually depend on the diagnosis we have already made. Let's look at an example. Here we have two dermatofibromas. These aren't difficult cases, and most dermoscopists would agree that we have a peripheral light brown pigment network surrounding a central white patch. But look closely. In the case on the left, the central patch has a rather homogeneous white color. However, in the second case, we actually see white lines almost forming a network. Nevertheless, we will probably end up classifying this as a central white patch because we have made up our mind on the diagnosis of a dermatofibroma due to the general pattern of the lesion. But let's return to the list and look at some more examples of white structures in dermoscopy. One of the first white structures we learn about in dermoscopy are these multiple small and round, whitish or yellowish structures that are regularly distributed throughout these pigmented lesions that otherwise have a structuralist general pattern. They are, of course, milia-like cysts, small intraepithelial keratin-filled cysts, which are typically found in seborrheic keratosis. However, when there are only a few or just a single amelia-like cyst, as in this lesion, one might have to look for other clues. In this case, there are multiple branched vessels, and at 9 o'clock we can also see a blue-gray ovoid nest, leading us to the diagnosis of pigmented basal cell carcinoma. Keratin can also be found on the surface of lesions. Here we see a solitary pink or red lesion surrounded by sun-damaged skin with scales on the surface. With dermoscopy, we can visualize the typical white or sometimes yellowish white scales in combination with clusters of so-called glomerular vessels. They are seen at 2 o'clock, and this is typical for Bowen's disease. We will talk more about scales and keratin when we discuss keratoconthoma and squamous cell carcinoma in part 3 of this podcast series. Another example of scales are these two cases of scabies, in which a white trail of keratin scales are found in the wake of the scabies mite digging its typical burrow in the epidermis. The typical gray boomerang-shaped head can be seen at the upper tip in both cases. In this recent article by Lalis et al., you can also read about the value of analyzing the color of keratin scales in inflammatory skin conditions. In psoriasis, for example, the keratin scales are typically only white, whereas the scales of dermatitis are usually a combination of white and yellow. Here we have another white structure due to keratin that can be visualized very clearly with dermoscopy. It is the distinctive hyperkeratotic ridge-like border of porokeratoses. It's known as the coronoid lamella. In this other example of a porokeratosis, we can also visualize the classic hyperkeratotic white track at the periphery of the lesion. We can also find a white structure in the normal skin of the palms and soles. Upon dermoscopy of acral skin, we can see the typical furrows and ridges of the skin in this area. If we look carefully, we can see hundreds of tiny small white dots evenly distributed along the ridges. These white dots, of course, correspond to the openings of the eccrine sweat ducts.
when examining acral nevi, locating the healthy sweat ducts as shown here by the arrowheads can be very helpful. It may all allow us to recognize this variation of the benign parallel furrow pattern, which is known as the lattice-like pattern. Thank you very much for your attention, and please keep watching part two for more examples of white structures in dermoscopy.